What's up, Crows? Scarecrow here with Abstract Gaming, bringing you some Resident Evil 1 gameplay. Uh, the gameplay doesn't really matter. It's just what I'm playing at the moment. I wanted to talk to you guys. It has been a while since I have uploaded any gameplay, which I'm sorry about that. I haven't uploaded vlogs, which, I, you know, according to the time I have right now, that is what I didn't find the time to do. But I do have a little break here, so I will try to upload some more gameplay. Uh, trying to get back into ARC, so I will do some more taming videos. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see played, let me know, and uh, I'll try to get to it. I'm going to try to record some Hello Neighbor, but when I record my PC, it's kind of iffy if it's going to be good or not, because of my computer, I need a better one. Uh, I'd like to record some Friday the 13th, but unfortunately I don't have it yet. But, I'm looking at it to be soon, so hopefully that works out. Also guys, E3 had just ended, and I, there's a few things I want to talk about with E3. Uh, from the new Call of Duty, the new Battlefront, um, the new New for Speed. Let's see, okay, that's all I was to do. Uh, right now on Resident Evil, I'm working to kill the Plant 42 on a knife-only playthrough. So... If you're wondering why I'm not shooting anything, that is why I'm going for the CQC achievement. Also, I promised you guys that I would be recording more Dark Souls gameplay. Um, I have not had to play it since about two weeks now. I still need to help Ray beat his, which today is his birthday, uh, the 21st. If you guys want to go wish him a happy birthday in the comments below. Uh, and guys... Every time he has a birthday, a week later, I have a birthday, coincidentally. But that's how days work, I guess. Uh, so, I am working to miss the V... V jolt? C3... Uh, 3... 5... 6... Yeah, okay. Working to get the V jolt so I can kill the plant. I've tried fighting it with a knife a few times. I have not seemed to do it. I've uh, gotten pretty close a couple times, but unfortunately, it seems to always kill me before I get the final blow. Uh, it's not as hard as you would think it would be to play this game with knife only. Uh, a lot of people were to mean you do it with Chris because his knife is stronger. But, um, I feel burp coming on. Excuse me. But, if you do it with Jill, you know, Barry's there to help you, and uh, you only have to fight the plant with the VJO. Which, if you do it with Chris, you have to hurt it with the VJO, and then you have to uh, have to fight it. So, you, you know, you still have that. But, with Jill, Barry, the big strong man he is, always comes and helps you. So you do have that. Uh, hopefully I'm doing this right. I am doing it off of memory. Let's see, do I do, do, I do... I do green and red first, and then green and orange. Or not green and orange, but brown and orange. Guys, I can't remember. It seems like this stuff blows. Yeah, I do not do that. I messed it up. Darn it. Water plus yellow gives me green. No, don't examine it. And then green and orange. Mate's blue. Okay, yes. Now we do it's not I can't mix let's see, what is it? Is it red and blue? Yep, okay, that's it. Oh, guys, it's been a couple of hours since I've done this, so I couldn't really remember. But, like I was saying with E3, um, we saw some nice uh, games during each of the conferences. Uh, you know, PlayStation, to me, had the less of a conference. I mean, it was... It was alright. They had Spider-Man, God of War, which I'm pumped for both of those games. And also Shadow of Colossus, 
once again has been revealed, and I went the wrong way. Poopy. Uh, and if you've never seen Play Shot of Colossus, I have played it quite a few times. Uh, tried to live stream it a few times, but my internet isn't the best. But they are doing a complete remake from the ground up, so I'm pretty excited. And it turns out they may have some of the uh, left out Colossi that never made it to the full version. That'd be pretty cool for them to have more. And I don't know, if, you know, how much different it'll be from the original version, but I'm pretty excited to see that. Uh, moving on to Spider-Man. I don't think they've ever made a Spider-Man game I haven't enjoyed. Uh, just being able to explore uh, bigger environments at super speed. At, well, I mean, not really super speed, at a decent speed. It's always been fun, climbing off of towers and all that. I've always enjoyed and fighting his bosses. Spider-Man has some really fun bosses. Rhino, um, Michael, the vampire guy, Tombstone, um, the reptile. All those guys, you know, is awesome to fight. And I think you even fought Wolverine in one of them, which is pretty cool. And PlayStation had a decent conference. I prefer the Xbox conference. They had a lot of exclusives. My problem with the Xbox conference is no Halo 3. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep griping about it. 10 year anniversary of Halo 3. In my opinion, the best Halo game. They did it for Halo 1, they did it for Halo 2, but not Halo 3. All because supposedly where it's on the MCC. Well, that's not my fault. Don't punish me for, you know, you putting it on MCC. It doesn't play as well as the original Halo 3. Uh, it looks a little better when it first came out. The hit detection was great, but fits in all the issues that it had is now just a big mess. I wish they would just do the anniversary and give it to us solo. Uh, that would be great. I would love to play Halo again. Uh, also, guys, they announced that the original Xbox games would now be playable on the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, which the One X is the new Scorpio. They did re release the title of that. And the price, which is four ninety nine. A lot of people are complaining about that. But me, who bought the original Xbox One for four ninety nine at the release, um, I have no problem with it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't have a 4K TV so it will probably be a while before I buy a Xbox One X. Because, um, you know, it's not going to be much better if you don't have a 4K TV. Uh, hopefully they can get the games to run on 60 FPS. Because, you know, we've kind of been um, catered to up to this point. Um, let's see what else they were They showed the new Need for Speed, which is amazing. I've always enjoyed Need for Speed. Uh, really big fan of Need for Speed Underground. Uh... Also, Need for Speed Pro Street was awesome. A cool story about that is my brother, he made a car so fast that when you would play drag racing, it would pop a wheelie from start to finish. And uh, you could publish your blueprints in that game. And somebody actually bought his blueprint, which is pretty cool. And he got an achievement for it. Um, he's always been a big fan of cars, so I didn't see how that worked out for him. Uh, but it showed that you now play as three people. Ever since Grand Theft Auto Five, it seems like a lot of people are, you know, really enjoyed it. So they're adding three people with their storylines as well. And uh, it, I don't know why exactly. I did enjoy, uh, excuse me, I did enjoy Grand Theft Auto Five's campaign. And it feels like you're playing so many different games at the same time. They did such a great job with, with each aspect, golf, tennis, all that feels like an actual golf and tennis game. Each character is so different that uh, it makes it seem like, you know, you're playing different campaigns. It's been fun. Uh, let's see what else. Nintendo revealed some stuff that I've not checked out yet. Uh, I heard they are releasing two new Metro games. One is a remake. Oh, man, my nose is itching, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, one is a remake from the GameCube ver Game Boy version, and one is a whole new Metroid Prime game for the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty cool. I've never been a Metroid fan, but I might give it a try this year after I did a Switch, of course. And they showed off 
Super Mario Odyssey actual gameplay, and I cannot be more pumped for that game. I really enjoy thing? the 3D Marios from Sunshine to 64 to Galaxy, and to have a new one that looks open world is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, let's see what it is. They some Beyond Good and Evil gameplay, Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is really awesome. The graphics are great. They shot a monkey off. Uh, they shot a pig off. And uh, a lot of great games look forward to this year, guys. Um, holiday season is going to be awesome. Uh, Christmas time, you know, we'll have all, all kinds of presents. Video games under the tree, hopefully. But, guys, it's been 10 minutes. I think it's a good time to end the video with the death plant. Uh, God, I expect to see more vlogs, gameplay, unboxings, everything else like that on this channel. I am, to the most part, I am back. I am working now, but I will try to do as much as I can around that schedule. Because I do work 12-hour shifts, that does give me some days off, which is awesome. And guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Wish Ray a happy birthday on his 27th birthday. And guys, God bless. And don't forget to wop. And when I'm finished getting ready for work, we got 15 minutes before we have to be out that door. Otherwise, we're late. It never fails. Lazy butt's in there sawing logs. I don't know what he does at night. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No.